up out of shower. <sighs> Smelling nice and fresh for a change. So it's around seven o'clock in the morning. I've got my porridge oats, nine eggs ready to cook. So we're gonna work them in the microwave. I'm going to see my cousin, cousin's husband Neil, um, for some acupuncture, chiropractic work. And then we've got Ross, he's coming up from Glasgow, he's gonna do some physio with us. We've got the little dogs. Kyla, put you safe, you okay? Uh, so some, with that, one-handed, I'm filming the camera. For filming me mix the eggs with one hand. If that's not impressive, then I don't know what is. So yeah, that's like there's a nice wee wall. Cushy and me, cushy and me, cushy, cushy and me. That's quite cute, isn't it? That was when we went to Disneyland Paris. That's breakfast cooked, so I'm about to get my munch on. So what have we got here? We've got Bowl of scrambled eggs, bowl of porridge, some coffee, as per usual. And I work that on to me, Nordic Strength Muscle Rub. Um, I normally apply that every morning when I wake up. Let's see how the eggs are today. Uh -huh. Quick talk you through all the supplements I take every morning. So, we've got a revive stack, inflammation, blood pressure, turmeric, Massive one, that turmeric, bone support, antioxidant, methyl factors. So I think that's a, an important fact to make. Really look after your immune system. You know, don't just rely on whatever vaccinations you're going to get. It's really look after it. So throw in some other stuff, your vitamins, your minerals, turmeric, turmeric. So important um, for kind of protecting your immune system, for looking after that. So rather than taking medication all the time, let's look after our body and get that nice and healthy, nice and fit. And then our body will look after us. So yeah, I think Tom and I are going to do a bit of vlogging today, as I said. So let's see how it goes. Hopefully Tom's getting on okay. Wednesday morning, just about to have some breakfast so today's breakfast is 10 eggs and a, two bananas then i'm going to go and do an early gym session so yeah stay tuned so guys breakfast done now i'm just about to set off for the gym just before i do fall uh, there's one supplement i take during my workout and during the day to add to my water and that is uh, revitalized by a foresight nutrition now this stuff is possibly the best hydration stuff I have ever ever used since day one like this and Pico 2 get them into your uh, as part of your supplement stack and you will be blown away by the results and just how nice the flavors are so yeah insightsupplements.com use TS10 and get every Something you get in Britain, basically you can get on that, you get American supplements, so yeah, go check them out. Now it's time to train. Boom. Right, today we have our long lost spicy stoltman brother back. This guy. Today is upper body day. We are now pressing, as Tom said. Um, I think Tom wants to take over the YouTube channel now. Tom, the man, the myth, the legend. Hey, big T. It's no easy. It's no easy. What's not easy? Being a businessman. I am the director of the Stokeman Brothers. Last time people were saying it was a shoulder press. Yeah, apologies guys, that was our camera guy Simon that really messed up there. Obviously it wasn't an incline press. It's a high incline slash shoulder press that we did. Almost at a 
vertical angle. It's maybe, I'd say, 10 degrees incline, maybe, if that. Um, so apologies on behalf of Simon. Simon, say sorry. Sorry. As soon as I start pressing it's in agony, I think it's just the pressure off the bar now, but uh, you have to kind of fight through it because luckily we've got a physio now every week that can come up and keep an eye on it, but you don't really have time to rest, I mean you're using your wrist in every movement you're doing, so I kind of just have to bite the bullet. the high incline slash shoulder press um, done. So it was just a lighter session tonight. Um, obviously we've built up. It was a slightly heavier last week and Tom's wrist still a bit sore so um, it was only, only 140 for sets of five. So just getting the kind of blood going, just going through the motions and that. And now um, we're gonna do incline, not incline, sorry, flat bench. Keeping it relatively light, nothing too major today saving it for the log press on the weekend. We've got one of our good friends, Scott Milne, coming up to train with us, so. Tom's in the toilet again for the third time this session, doing a poo. What's up, Tom? Hello, mate. What are you doing, mate? Doing a job, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bench pressing was good. I just strapped up hard. Look, my wrist is still in pieces. Uh, not in pieces, it's still intact. <laughs> uh, now, bench felt good for once. I had to go lighter on that because, as you've seen last week, oh, I just went. <laughs> so, yeah, it felt all good. Like I said, we've got no competitions as far as we're aware to now, so pressing doesn't really need to go up, just needs to maintain. My main goal is uh, stone, stone, stone. So I just need to get a big butt, a big gluteus, maximus. Cut. Why do you do your incline so high? Um, it's a better crossover for our log press. Obviously, the main one of the main lifts in strongman is is log. So I find doing a little bit higher incline um, really kind of mimics that the pressing position in, in the log press. So it really engages all the muscles that I need to become a good log presser, and it makes me look a little bit sexier. A little bit fuller shoulders, fuller triceps, engage the triceps in the lockout, which is what we need when we're doing the log press, guys. Stay tuned for more scientific reasons why we do stuff in our online training, coming soon, trained by the Stokemans. How about you, Tom? Why do you do it so high? I just do it because I get told to do it. I get told to go to the gym and I get told to eat food. So I always got taught that you should always listen to what you get told to do. So that's what I do. I listen. So that was it. Nice early morning session. Pressing Dan. What's next? So I'm gonna go get this haircut. Zip. So who knows what I'm gonna look like? Not any worse than you do now. That's a good thing, isn't it? Physio. Um, I'm gonna see my cousin's husband Neil, who's a does a bit of acupuncture, chiropractic work. Um, kind of assesses my body and stuff like that. So that'll be good. And then just chilling the rest of the day, pretty much, eating, sleeping, which we're going to try and vlog for you. So we're going to show you a little bits of food coming up. And Tom will be looking a little bit more respectable. You alright, David? Mm hmm. Good man. Mm -hmm. Just relax there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> You 
Thank you very much. So Trinity Dad and I got the new haircut. Aye aye, here we go! No COVID take out anymore, lads! Yeah buddy! Oosha! Nice sexy new haircut. And now it's time to get beasted in the gym again. By this man Ross from Caledonia Sports Clinic, based on Cumberland's back of Byron. And I'm gonna have a new one soon in Sterling, so check him out and watch me cry. Don't put your body through things like this. Just stick yeah. to like fishing and golfing. Reading books, not this kind of stuff. Oh, what's this move? That's the finisher. This is from the camera only. I woke It's a new one. Is your leg so bad? Right guys, so that's today finished. So obviously we had uh, pressing this morning. I saw Neil. I got a haircut. I got a haircut. Um, so Ross came up from Glasgow today from Caledonia Sports Clinic. So massive thank you to Ross for driving at that horrible night. He's put us through our face all this place. He's still got a fan in there man. Jeez. Uh, a proper straw man now. <laughs> so we're going to be working with yourself as you going forward to, to make sure we're all kind of finding all cylinders, whatever we've, got, whatever we've got coming up, whatever that might be. Stay tuned for that. Smell in. So what straw man might be gymnastics, who knows that? But, well, how flexible you are, you might be doing gymnastics very soon. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, guys. Keep watching, keep commenting. Stay safe, smile, stay spicy. I'll please keep wearing that little bell. Ding ding. Tom. Ding ding.